I don't think there's a clear strategy to overcome this because in terms of AI, at least, we don't really know what we're up against. Um, so it's technology that is still relatively young. So we, we don't really know what the limits are and what its, its potential really is so far. So we're still kind of developing an understanding of how it works and how we can combat certain misinformation that's spread through AI. I think the, the general rule is what I mentioned earlier in terms of having a little critical voice in your head that makes you question everything, makes you a little bit distrustful of everything. So basically media literacy. And I think that is kind of at the heart of it, the idea that we need to teach people how to process information they receive, how to process it critically, how to be more aware of the sources they're, they're, um, they're you know, referring to, how to understand uh, the context a little bit better. So media literacy is the ultimate answer, I think. It's a, it's a slow process. I don't think it's something that is really easily achievable over the short term, but I think it's something that needs to be ingrained within educational settings and within universities. Uh, because when I was a student, it wasn't a thing at all. So I think it's important that we start you know, placing greater focus on, on teaching younger people how to, how to consume inf information and how to be a little bit distrustful of, of the information they receive.